Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be comparing two of the most popular web browsers, Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. In this video, we're going to be conducting a series of tests to see how these two browsers compare in terms of speed and performance. We'll be running a benchmark test, speed tests on five different websites, as well as testing their RAM usage. Google Chrome is the most widely used web browser in the world, with a market share of over 60%. On the other hand, Microsoft Edge is the default web browser for Windows OS and has been steadily gaining popularity in recent years. It's also known for its speed and security, as well as its integration with other Microsoft products. Now let's get into the comparison. I'll be running the tests on my own computer, and I'll be sure to provide all of the relevant details so you can see exactly how these two browsers compare. So sit back, relax, and let's see which of these two browsers comes out on top in our Google Chrome versus Microsoft Edge comparison for 2023. <laughs> In the first section of our video, we'll be conducting a benchmark test using Web Expert 4. This is a tool that measures the overall performance of a web browser, including things like speed, efficiency, and stability. These are the tests that it's going to do on both browsers. We'll be using both Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge in brand new conditions, with the exception of logging into our browser accounts. To make the video more enjoyable for you to watch, we'll be fast forwarding through the actual benchmark test. After the test is completed, we'll go over the results and see how these two browsers compare in terms of their overall performance. Stay tuned to find out which browser comes out on top in this benchmark test. According to the test, Google Chrome scored a total of 133 points. This is the score breakdown provided by Web Expert 4. We've just completed the benchmark test using Web Expert 4 for Microsoft Edge, and the results are in. According to the test, Microsoft Edge scored a total of 137 points. This is the score breakdown for Microsoft Edge. Now that we've completed the benchmark test using Web Expert 4, it's time to move on to the next part of our comparison speed tests on five different websites. We'll be using the page load time extension to measure how fast each of these websites load in both Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. The websites we'll be testing are weather.com, Dailymotion, The New York Times, Amazon, and Walmart. To ensure the most accurate results, we'll be running each test five times and switching between the two browsers in incognito mode. This way, we can eliminate any potential caching or other factors that might affect the speed of the website. Which browser will come out on top in this round of our comparison? Let's find out. We've just completed the speed tests on the five different websites using Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. We've compiled a summary of the results for each website, including the average load time for each browser. You'll be able to see how these two browsers compare in terms of speed and website load times. Now it's time to move on to the next part of our comparison, testing the RAM usage of Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. To do this, we're going to open the same five websites in both browsers at the same time and use the task manager to monitor their RAM usage. This will give us a good idea of how much memory these two browsers use while running multiple websites at once. After opening the websites, we can see that Google Chrome is using around 1,020 megabytes of RAM while Microsoft Edge is using around 850 megabytes. And that brings us to the end of our Google Chrome versus Microsoft Edge comparison for 2023. We hope you've enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful. 
If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. We have plenty more tech-related content coming your way, so be sure to hit that notification bell to stay up to date. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.